Tonight at 11, a candlelight vigil honoring the life of 20-year-old Barrett Aqua, Aqua, who died in a plane crash in Newburgh yesterday. His dad says he just passed his test to get his commercial pilot's license and was flying with an instructor. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for K2 News at 11. I'm Deborah Knapp. Count, uh, Thunvi Varma joins us now from the Live Center with more on this case. Deb, countless people came tonight holding lights like this because they say Barrett Bivakwa was a light. Amongst the tear-filled hugs, flowers, and candles, there were airplanes because that was Barrett Bivakwa's dream since the day he could dream. His dad beams with gratitude as he shares. He always wanted to be a pilot um, when he was two years old, when most kids were watching Finding Nemo and uh, he was watching Top Gun. His loved ones who are mourning the loss of Barrett's infectious smile have told his dad why they think Barrett was meant to fly. God chose him to be a pilot so that he could see heaven closer than everybody else. And Barrett didn't stop till he flew to the heights of his wildest dreams. He had just passed his test to get his commercial license. His main thing in, in his interview was I, I'm going to be the fastest to complete your program and the youngest pilot you'll ever have and he the first part of it was he had accomplished so what's bigger than the sadness it's the pride his parents feel his dad is grateful that his son left the world doing what he wanted to do since he entered it i don't know many people who get to go out with doing it doing with what you love the other person who passed away was 22-year-old flight instructor Michele Cavallotti. We are told his family is coming down from Italy. At the live desk, Thunvi Verma, K2 News. Thunvi, thank you. We've also been following the investigation into this deadly crash. Newburgh police say 22-year-old Michele was an instructor with the Hillsborough Aero Academy and 20-year-old Barrett was a student pilot. At this time, it's unclear who was piloting the plane at the time of the crash. The NDPD, the Yamhill County Medical Examiner and District Attorney's Office are working to determine a precise cause of death. Meantime, the Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board have taken over the investigation related to the cause. Officials say their investigation is meticulous. We are, we're looking at everything, uh, flight training programs, uh, experience of the pilots, uh, what was going on with the flight track information. So, uh, I, and I'm trying not to go down any one specific thing. We try to gather as much data as we can. Alaska Airlines says Horizon Air partners with Hillsboro Aero Academy as part of their Ascend Pilot Academy. They did not share if they are conducting an investigation of their own. K2 is continuing to track this developing story, and we'll let you know when we find out more information. You can also find this story on our website at katu.com.